I forget that I have to constantly come out, so I have my engagement ring on. And the doctor's like, oh, who's lucky lady? And I was like, okay, it's a little creepy, but like, I, I came out when I was in 11th grade, or 10th grade, 10th grade. And it's just like, I had to tell my doctor, who's a straight white man, that like, I'm not, but, like, I didn't have the heart to tell him because I didn't want him to beat me up. <laughs> but it's like, maybe I should look for a different doctor. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I just got back from the doctor. Um, I got, had to have blood drawn. Well, didn't have to. But, but I wanted to see if I had diabetes because it runs in my family. And even the, like, the practitioners or whatever you call them, like the lab techs, I was, I said he, like, I kept on saying, like, my fiance, he, and they're like, oh, she, and I was like, no. Like, I don't know how to say, like, like, because I don't want to be, like, cause, not discriminated against, but, like, I don't want to, like, make anyone uncomfortable, I guess. I don't know. So I just, so once it was done, I was like, so what can I leave? Am I good? Am I good to go? Thank you. But yeah, I think I, it's time to maybe find a new doctor. Maybe one that's, like, LGBTQ friendly. Just cause. You know. But I don't really know any that are close to you. Like, close to me besides the one I'm at. So, maybe just new doctor. Also, like, look at my glasses. Rainbow. Rainbow. Nail polish. I mean, maybe, like, the and long hair and beard. But, like... I sound like a faggot. I don't sound straight. Like, what? <laughs>